To use Radiant, you'll first need to install R and RStudio. Now, both of these applications are linked on the documentation page for Radiant that you're looking at right now. If you already have R and RStudio installed, feel free to skip ahead a minute or two. All right, so I'm uh, shooting this video on Windows. And so I'm going to download Windows. All right, so I'm not actually going to go through the download here because I already have it here on the left. So this is the very latest version, 3.13. Uh, you can also use 3.12 or any version above 3.1. All right, so to save us a bit of time, I'm not going to re-download that. I already have it here on my desktop. Same thing with our studio. It's linked on the documentation page. If you're using a Mac, of course, you'd use this link. If you're on Windows, you'd use this link and just download the file to your desktop. I would also recommend that you, if you're on Windows particularly, to download and install Chrome and use that as your default browser. Uh, the application Radiant requires a modern browser and older versions of Internet Explorer do not qualify. So uh, if you're on Mac, you're fine with either Safari or Chrome or uh, Firefox. Uh, Chrome or Firefox will work fine on Windows. Again, only if you have the very latest version of Internet Explorer will this work. All right, so let's start by installing R. R is actually the, the programming language that Radiant is built in. It'll ask you for a whole bunch of defaults. We're just going to install those and accept those. Just keep clicking until it starts running. It's actually a 32-bit computer. Uh, most of you will probably have a 64-bit. Uh, just run the defaults and it'll install just fine. All right. And click Finish. Now there's a, an icon that gets created on your desktop. You can actually delete that right away. This is just a shortcut to R. We'll be using RStudio and or an icon for Radiant, so you really don't need that to clutter up your desktop. The R will still be installed as appropriate, just the shortcut I just deleted. All right, so let's install RStudio. What is RStudio? It's an environment within which you can write our programs. Uh, you can also load data and do a few things with it. And it's a convenient uh, front end to R uh, that you can launch Radiant from. And also, if, you're, if you get a little more advanced, uh, do more things with. So I'd highly recommend that you use that as well. All right. Okay, so we're done for now with installing that. Now, we are going to create a shortcut to our studio on our desktop. Or I'll just pin it to the taskbar. Ah, there we go. All right, so there's our studio. Let's make that a little bit bigger. All right. So, how do we install Radiant now that we have our studio installed? And we're back to the documentation page. All you would need to do is just copy and paste these commands, hit enter, and it's going to install a bunch of packages that Radiant relies on. So I'll just pause the video for a second as it's running through this, and then get back to when it's done installing these different packages. Okay, so the packages were installed. So now how do we go about starting up Radiant? We can copy these commands right here to our studio, hit enter, and it will load the packages into memory and start the Radiant application in your browser. Okay, So feel free to play around, see what it does. Uh, it has some nice features, some drag and drop functionality for certain things, uh, visualization. Suppose you want to do a bunch of histograms. I'll, I'll have other videos about this. Uh, how I recommend you stop Radiant if you're done is hit the quit 
in the nav bar and then quit again and that will take you back to our studio now if you don't like typing commands into our studio which is fine definitely at first then what you can do is type win launcher now if everything went well on your desktop there should be a shortcut and yes there is so if we double click that we'll open up another type of window and there we have radiant again okay so basically from now on you can just use that launcher if you prefer you can remove these software packages you will not need them you already installed from them so the only thing that would remain would be radiant and you can either go through our studio to start it up or use the launcher okay all right hope that works for you if you have any problems please do let me know